In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this cool wheel transition in DaVinci Resolve. The first step of this effect is to copy your clip. Click on Change Clip Speed and choose Freeze Frame. Open the clip in Color Page. Click here and choose the Oval Masking tool. Make a mask around the rim. Right-click on the Node section and choose Add Alpha Output. Go back to Editing Page and copy the clip. Press D to deactivate it. Open it in the Color Page and expand the mask to fit the whole wheel. After that, copy the clip once more, and on the Color Page, remove the mask completely. Select all the freezed clips and trim them to the right length. Press D to activate the top clip and make a new compound clip. Open it in Fusion and search for DVE. Let's make a simple animation where the wheel comes from the bottom. You can use any of the values you want. I'll show an example. Make keyframes for any values in the first frame. Then move to the end and make new keyframes. Go back to the first frame and adjust the values. Once that's done, open the spline window, make sure everything is selected and highlight all the points. Press S to smooth them out. Go back to the editing page. Compound clip the second one, which is the whole wheel. Open it in Fusion, click on Clips, then copy the DVE node and paste it for the wheel clip. Make sure the clips are synced. Go back to the editing page. Make a keyframe for zoom on the wheel clip at about the halfway. Move to the end and make another. Click here. Drag the middle point to where the middle of the wheel is and zoom out. Nice. Now pay attention, this might look a little confusing, but position the clips like this. When the wheel animation has stopped, drag the lowest clip to that point. Open it in the color page. Click here to open qualifier. On the keyframes panel, click on this diamond icon. Drag the luminance slider from the right until everything is black, not all the way, but just to the point nothing is visible. Move to the end and drag the slider back until everything is just visible. Last step is to add motion blur for the animations. Open them in Fusion, click Settings, then Motion Blur. Then of course, the clip has to transition from another clip, so let's add that. That's basically it.